Good day everyone and my name is Kurt Francis Norbe from SBI A1D. So today we will talk about Kent Robinson book is out of our mind. Um, before we go to reaction who wrote, who wrote Kent Robinson uh, book is uh, we we will know who is who co who Ken Robinson is. So Ken, Sir Ken Robinson is an international recognized leader in the development of innovation and human resources. He was worked with national governments in Europe, Europe and Asia with international agency fortune fortune 500 companies national and state education system non-profit corporation and some of the world leading cultural organization they include the royal shakespeare company sir mac sir paul mac Carnes, liverpool institute for Performing Arts, the Royal Ballet, the Hong Kong Academy for Performing Arts, the the European Commission, UNESCO, the Council of Europe, and the J. Paul Gritty Trust and the Educational Commission of State from 1989 to 2001. He was professor of art education at the University of War of Warwick. And now I will discuss what what I learned all, all about in their book. First, although the book Robinson quite firmly criticized our school system and the way that he heading, he argued that limited innovation which in essence as affecting our evaluating evaluatory process robinson is interpreting innovation and its significance in navigating an inherently dynamics and rapidly involving world he emp he emphasized that in the light of quick involving time brought about by technological advancement and the global development we must be able to think creativity and be more innovative he point out many understand our key to progress would be schooling and learnings robinson emphasized the fast effect of progress change and the importance of keeping update technology is present in every part of our lives and its use super surprising forms which an uh, unexpected result we are connected to an 24 7 knowledge source thing to take so thanks to technology and we have the ability to learn from anybody in any time and from everywhere Robinson discussed this model of schooling specifically for this simplistic the matrix system of the globalization and the reductive implus of rationalism could end up drawing a gap between sciences on one side and the arts and humanities on the other person culture and economics education are the three types of education that robinson ex examined robinson wonder how a school system founded on globalization and rationalism perform in all three field the book several chapter discuss the role of Culture is encouraging creativity and also how to lead or grow innovate innovate cultures. But I decide I decided to take a step back at this stage. Consider Kent Robinson's core 
concept regarding the value of imagination in education. Robinson's general point of view has the ring of reality to it, but is this doesn't quite hit home. I prepared to see much to the of the impact in was having that simplify suggesting it reduce knowledge and and privilege alternative from flourishing. Robinson also are said that the modern education system is struggling without elaborating about why and how is struggling or connecting this loss to the question of innovation. I really value this idea and decide to, to point out three definitions he made that I feel are especially of important to the fields or careers advancement. One is the educational pillars. Robinson's study of education being for, formed through the impact of, nine, of C-19's development in the field of economics or in industrialization and the intellectual thought that in, enlightenment has le left me wondering about how these two movements sit behind plenty of careers education system. Phil McCash work on the OTS has also demo demonstrated that influence of an institutional basis of comparison of the po popular connecting concept of professional development. In a variety of way, I believe that the un standard rational method that his focuses on uh, established from four careers education Function, functionally and opportunity approaches ha, have questioned this on job theory I have a concern about how imagination might be used to improve any of this criti criticism more than I like learn to more about. Second is the role of education. I observe Robinson's three perspe perspective on education truly interesting and helpful. I believe it is variable to required about the environmental, social, and personal benefit of education. I agree that education is gr gradually prioritizing the economic over the that other two, the professional profession, professions education has almost completely neglected like, that social agenda. And that go and hunger strategy are turning to towards the economic and that the personal is only used as mean to allow the economy economic Robinson encourage career education educators to think about the importance and the way to engage in all of these topics third the third or the last topic we had is defining creativity the topic creativity is frequency misuse and misunderstood. Robinson's three phrases, imagination, innovation, and creativity, all helped me to understand this. It has inspired to me, inspired me to do even more research into the role of these three concepts in career, in career knowledge and support. They seems like they might be used in for, for enriching this discussion. Again, I will mention I will mention again the three topics three topics I gave in the past in the past minutes 
So, the first is educational pillars. The second is the role of education. And the last is defining creativity. So, <clears throat> Um, this tree is very important to me because in near future, um, this tree is help me to build the build build and understand the concept of innovation and creativity. So that's all for this video. Thank you.